Today's episode of The Read Pile is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash nerdupmedia. Over 150,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. I'm Elle, and I'm currently selling space in my tagline for advertisement. And I am the Sussman, Rick Sussman, and I could make you an offer. But it would have to be for magic beans only. Deal. And you are watching The Read Pile, featuring two Sussmans. <laughs> it's the week of February 18th, and here are some comic news you can use. We have fun time interesting news. Not just movie news, not just constant, uh, yeah. constant, oh, everything's so terrible. Okay, we got two things that I know you're going to like. Okay. All right. I know you're gonna like because there's a da- there's a not it's not a Dalek. That's a what is that? That's a TARDIS. You got this TARDIS plushie back here. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. okay we also have ugh, a Deathwing pop vinyl. We have lots of pops at or around the Fortress of Nerditude, right? Yes. What if I told you you could get a TARDIS pop vinyl soon? What if I told you you could get three of, oh no, four Doctors in pop vinyl form? Which ones? The fourth Doctor. Oh, well, obviously. The twelfth, the twelfth <laughs> Doctor. The twelfth Doctor. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. The tenth Doctor. Uh-huh. And the eleventh Doctor. Oh, you mean all the ones that people that don't even watch Doctor Who know about? What do you say? You're upset by this? I am. Whoa. I, I hate the wannabes. Wait, wait, just, just there wait. There are wannabes just, out there already. Just, just wait, just wait. You can also get an adipose. <gasps> Even Buster Even likes Buster's the Adipose. Yeah. I think that's my favorite. Right. I like I like Doctor Who. I know there's some good doctors. I, I'm not saying that they're not good, but when it comes to pop vinyls, I think I want to lean towards more obscure things. Characters. What if yeah. I told you what if I told you there is gonna be a weeping angel pop vinyl? I think it's gonna be adorable. <laughs> Definitely the Adipose. Okay, so that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. I have more news. Things that <gasps> things that I know you're gonna like. What? Things that I know you're gonna like. Oh my god. Now you're a fan of Doctor Who. I am. You're a fan of adorable pop vinyls. Yeah. You're a fan of booze, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> what if I told you there is a company out there called Rogue, I believe that's her name, Rogue, and they're making an alcohol for nerds. Really? They've been in business for a long time. They I think they're they have the Red Star booze. But more importantly, um, <laughs> They're coming out with a Hellboy beer. That's pretty cool. Now, can you inform me? Is it a lager? Oh no, it's it's I the mean, red. I, I would be disappointed it's, if it's a lager, but it's, it's the right it's maybe. the red right hand of Doom Red Ale. <laughs> I feel like a lot of thought was put into this, and I. So, so you're saying a lot of thought went into the, the booze that you're going to drink to kill your brain cells, and no, thus ending I, lots of no, thought. No, I'm going to combine all this, these thrills, and I'm going to buy the beer, and then I'm going to get all my pop vinyls together, and we're going to have a little play date. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, I'm getting older now, and <laughs> I'm a nerd, and I have a lot of friends. <laughs> my cats will watch. <laughs> Uh, and I'll play Doctor Who. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm officially depressed. I'm going to go review comics now. You can do what you want. Oh my god. <laughs> Time for comic book reviews. I'm going to start with a new one. It is called Eight. It was interesting. I wanted to fight against this. I wanted to have something different on my read pile this week. And I really wanted to hate this. <laughs> I really did. But it, it's it's interesting. It's to sum it up, this guy apparently made some kind of a deal with somebody. It's all open right now. And he needs to go back in time to find some guy. We don't know the answer to any of these questions yet. But it's opening up all these doors, like, okay, who is this guy? Why is he going back in time? First of all, how is he going back in time? 
is he really going back in time? I don't know. And there is just so many different questions that I want to see the answers for. It's pretty insane. And hey, there's dinosaurs involved. It's pretty nutty. And it's interesting. Not over the top, oh my god, but it's, it's a cute little read. And I definitely want to check out, see what the answers are. And I apologize, I have a cat that keeps bonking into me. <laughs> I have a little surprise on my brief pile. Because for some reason I have not gotten around to reading any of it and I don't know what my problem was. <laughs> Red Sonia! And with this one, it is a 48 page special. It is. Uh, it is issue number 100 of one. all of Red Sonia. Thank yes, you. 100. So you have various stories that are in this book. 48 pages long. And I will be honest, I saw that on the cover and I said, you know what? I don't really want to read that. That's, when you tell me up front it's 48 pages, it makes me not want to read it. I don't know why. I think it's the laziness in me. But then when you open it up and you read the first page, and you're like, okay, second page, okay, three, four, five, six, and you don't stop. And it's absolutely impossible to put it down, and then you realize you just read it as quickly as a regular size comic. <laughs> and you're like, wow, that was really, really good. <laughs> And if you have, just like me, not read any Red Sonia, guess what? You read this, you are up to it. You know what everything about her, well, not maybe not everything, but you know enough about her. You understand her character, and you understand that she is a sassy, get to it warrior chick, and you love it. And it's, uh, I know there's gonna be more to it if you really read, but. You get to know her in this. You get to see different versions of it. It's from different writers. You're going to. And it was a fantastic ride. I loved it. But my pick of the week, another obvious one, Wonder Woman. Oh, Wonder Woman, you poor thing. <laughs> You're really feeling for her. She like I said, last issue, she is battling everything. All her different roles. God of War, the Queen of uh, Themyscira. She is also still part of the Justice League and her relationship with Clark. It's just, all of this is just exploding <laughs> at one time. And it's really, it was happening in the last issue, issue and it's getting stronger in this one. And the things that are going down on Themyscira is insane. And we all know, yes, yes, she is back. And she is there for vengeance. Oh, it is absolutely wonderful. Uh, uh, you just, you gotta read it. And you're seeing her just fighting herself between who she really is, who she really wants to be, how can she be the god of war, but still hold up the values of the Justice League and who she is as Wonder Woman and to be queen and to to help rule these people and her, her people and it's it's saddening. It's it's sad and it's amazing and you know you you know she's gonna pull through. But the battle that she's going going through on her own inside is it's heartbreaking. <laughs> but in the meantime, we will see what Rick has to say. Thank you for that very insightful read pile this week, Al. You you did well. You did well. Oh, thanks, Buster. So I had a good read pile this week. Uh, I have a few books that I'm not going to do super reviews on because there were a few that really need uh, big time reviewing. Quickly, we have Goners. This is issue number five. It continues to be a lot of fun. Um, if you've ever read any kind of zombie apocalypse book, or if you're reading a book like, I don't know, The Life After, you might want to check out Goners as well. It's just that same kind of fun stuff. And it, it, it's a little bit lighthearted, but also dealing with giant monsters and possibly the devil. 
who doesn't like that? Um, Drifter continues to be the book that I just can't get away from. It's like, I want to say, oh, well, I'm done reading this book. It's terrible. Blah, 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 blah. And every time I read an issue of it, it's always, oh, all right. Well, that was, that was actually a very good issue. I don't know why I think I don't like this book. No. And finally, we have Wolverines. Um, not doing a big review on this one because it's a weekly, and we've been doing six weeks of reviews on it, and it's good. I think at this point we can all assume that I like Wolverines, and it, you should be reading it too. Let's get to books that bear reviewing, however. We're going to start with the one book that ended for the read pile this week, uh, because it is no longer on my subscription at my local comic book store, and that is Moon Knight whoop, number 12. So, the first six-issue arc was written by Warren Ellis, and we loved it. The second six-issue arc was written by Brian Wood, and we thought it was very good, too. Um, I'm not going to be continuing with this book anymore. I don't like a book that's a series of anthologies. I need, like, a constant story. The first six issues were really cool and really neat, and had the book stopped there, I would have been totally happy with that. The second six issues was, in fact, a storyline, and I thought that was really cool, too. But ultimately, I don't want to keep just, oh, and here's a new writer, and here's a new artist, and here's a new... Why don't you just call this Volume 5 or Volume 6, and the next one will be Volume 8, and the next one will be Volume... Just, no, enough of that. I, well, the ending was fine. There's nothing actually wrong with the book. It's just sort of a marketing thing. Kind of like how I felt about Edge of Spider-Verse. Next up, Lazarus. Boop. This is number 15. This is pretty much a silent issue. I'm actually going to keep it so that I can show you guys. Check out the... You know, there's a lot of graphics here, so I'm going to zoom in. But as you can see... There's, it's just like an action book. There's this really amazing duel between um, two of the um, Lazarus, which are the, the, the beings that can't die, or rather can die, but can be resurrected. Um, it's a really solid, brutal, awesome issue. And then it has a dynamite cliffhanger. Greg Rucka is kind of the man. If you haven't been reading any of his stuff, he's really, really good. I highly recommend checking stuff out. This is going to be an excellent jumping on point for a lot of new readers as well, though it is right in the middle of the end of a story. So it's like our uh, issue, like, I don't know, we'll go 8 of 10. Since it's mostly silent and just an action issue, you could really jump in and catch up. Next up on the agenda, Batman and Robin 39. Robin's superpowers ability, by the way, you love that cover, don't you? Like, with, with Batman, uh, well, Robin taking the place of Superman, crashing the Batmobile, such an awesome cover. Um, Gleason and Tomasi are doing very well, but it's disappointing, because now I know that this book is ending. Um, it's coming to its natural conclusion, there will be no more Batman and Robin when the, um, when Convergence is over, so the series is gonna end, and that's a little disappointing, because it's been so much fun. And this issue continues to be more interesting, good stuff. We're seeing Robin at his superpowered best. He's in being invited to the to the tower. He's meeting Superman and Shazam, and that's really kind of neat too. Because Shazam is sort of like the negative version of a kid with superpowers, or ra rather, Robin is the negative version. Like a kid with superpowers would act like a jerk, like Robin. Whereas a kid with superpowers who would kind of be like a Boy Scout, you know, like Billy Batson or Shazam. So it's a really interesting, cool little dichotomy there. But, all that is aside, because we have a graphic that's spinning up and on the screen now, because we have our pick of the week. And that pick of the week is Rumble! Rumble, 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 Rumble! Number three! Oh, I can't stop looking at this book! I told you guys about Rumble number one, I told you guys about Rumble number two, it is so good! It's so awesome. The characters are demons and and, and and angels or immortal beings hell-bent on destroying you. And also there's this bartender who's got his bald friend. And, and people keep asking me, like, well, what is this? Uh, okay, imagine if Mo Sislak accidentally got in between of a war between some immortal godlike creature and demons from hell. And people look at me and say, really? And yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. It's so awesome. If you're not checking out Rumble, you really have to. It's only three issues in. Um, I know it's a lot of fun. I know it's relatively easy to get a hold of at your local comic book shops. Um, and if not, uh, Image does a great job of reproducing these trades in a hurry. So you got to check out Rumble. It's been nothing but hilarious. And it's been so much fun. It, it was honestly the last book I wanted to read this week. So that's why it was the pick of the week for Rick's Read Pile. 
For you, our loyal followers of The Read Pile, we have an awesome offer from Audible.com. Audible is offering a free audiobook download with a free 30-day trial to give you the opportunity to check out their awesome service. You can download some really great books like The Hobbit, the unabridged version from Tolkien. You can download Divergent, Lean In, lots of great stuff to check out. To download your free audiobook today, go to audibletrial.com slash nerdupmedia. Again, that's audibletrial.com slash nerdupmedia for your free audiobook. All right, that's this week for the Read File. Rich. Cats. Who are we thanking? Boots and cats. And boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. I haven't done the boots and cats song in like... I know, but we got to thank people <gasps> because, the, uh... you know, our five viewers are going to stop <laughs> hey, watching if hey. we don't... Hey, we have a lot more than that. There's like seven. It doesn't count when they accidentally leave it running on their YouTube and then they walk away. And okay, the you know what? You know what? Fine, fine, and it keeps fine. Running. I, I will. Uh, you know what? You're standing right behind one of the boxes that we're we're slowly adjusting the fortress of nerditude, so things are going to be shifting a little bit. Uh, but our Zatanna. Oh, being lazy. <laughs> the Zatanna, the Zatanna unboxing has like over 200 views. What? Yeah. Yeah, so thank you, Ant. I've been viewing it all over the <laughs> just gets different cool. computers. <laughs> all right, I'm going to take off my glasses here. As you guys noticed a couple of weeks back, uh, we got new hardware, and you yeah. specifically just got a brand new piece of metallics. I have a problem. <laughs> you're, you're turning in, into a in, pin cushion. In his name, my problem is... No. He has a name. His name is Josh. Josh. Actually, you know what? I'm going to call him Joshua. Oh. I feel like I can call him Joshua. Maybe not. He might slap me in the face next time he sees me because I called him Joshua. I don't know. So, there <laughs> is a piercer who has, uh, who works at uh, Atomic Tattoos here in Orlando. I guess we're technically in Ultima, but in Orlando, yeah, there's yeah, an Atomic yeah. Tattoos, um, and his name is Josh Fish, and he's friends of us on Facebook, and you guys should check him out. Um, if you're getting any work done, piercings or otherwise, uh, body modifications, he's the dude to check out here in Orlando. Exactly. Um, he uh, has hooked us up. He uh, rearranged your face to make it look like, you know, presentable. And, and <laughs> but we will. We really want to mention one thing. He is a really fabulous piercer. More to the point, he does such a great job. People don't even notice that when we get our work done. Like yeah. nobody, nobody even noticed that I had the eyebrow piercing. My own father had to double check and make sure that I hadn't had this for years. That's how great of a job he did. So we really want to thank Josh for all of his hard work, working with us and making us prettier. Yay! And uh, all right, all right. You know what, Buster? You've been all over. Get, get him. Just grab him. Just, get him. Get him. Oh my God! All right. So. Ah! Oh! <laughs> He slapped me in the That's mouth. Awesome. He slapped awesome. me in the mouth. Because, you know, he's This guy, he's apparently, bag. apparently he wants food. So, or treats, or whatever it is you give him. That may, okay, all right, all right, over there now. Uh, you, okay. you go ahead. I'll, I'll say goodbye to our friends. <laughs> so, if you want to send help... Oh, uh, never mind. See you later. been eating for three minutes straight.